Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared over x plus 1 whole cubed plus 2 over x plus 1 whole squared is equal to 10. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. x squared divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus we multiply and divide this expression by x plus 1. So this will become 2 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole squared times x plus 1 is equal to 10. x x squared divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus distribute this to this will become 2 times x plus 2 divided by this x plus 1 whole squared times x plus 1 will become x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 10. We take the LCM. The LCM is x plus 1 whole cubed. So, this x squared will come here x squared plus this 2x plus 2 2x plus 2 is equal to 10. x squared plus 2 times x this 2 can be written as plus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 10. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus uh, b whole squared. This uh, x squared plus uh, 2x plus 1 will become x plus 1 whole squared plus uh, this 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 10. This expression at the left hand side can be written as x plus 1 whole squared divided by x plus 1 whole cubed plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 10. Now, this x plus 1 whole squared will be cancelled out and here we are left with 1 and this 3 will become 1. So, this will become 1 over x plus 1 plus this can be written as 1 over x plus 1 whole cubed is equal to 10. So, we suppose that uh, let 1 over x plus 1 is equal to m. So, this equation will become m plus uh, m cubed is equal to 10. Now, we rearrange these terms and move this 10 to the left hand side. This will become m cubed plus uh, m minus 10 is equal to 0 and this will become m cubed plus uh, m minus this 10 is same as 8 plus uh, 2 is equal to 0. This will become m cubed plus uh, m negative 8 minus 2 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus uh, m minus this 8 is same as 2 cubed minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we group this uh, cube with the cube. So, this will become m cubed minus 2 cubed plus uh, this m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we have difference of 2 cubes. So, we use this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed 
is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So, this m cubed minus 2 cubed will become m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m plus 2 squared 4. From these two terms m minus 2 we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2 and in bracket left m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0 next m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m this 4 plus 1 will become plus 5 is equal to 0. From here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 2 times m plus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 2 and from this quadratic equation we write this m squared m squared plus this 2 times m. We can write this plus 5 as plus 1 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this m squared plus 2 times m plus 1 will become m plus 1 whole squared plus this 4 is equal to 0. Move this 4 to the right hand side, this will become m plus 1 whole squared is equal to negative 4. And from here, we take a square root of both sides. So, this square will be considered with this square root and we are left with m plus 1 is equal to this square root of negative 4 can be written as plus minus root 4 times root negative 1. This will become m plus 1 is equal to plus minus root 4 is 2 and root negative 1 is i. Move this 1 to the right hand side, this will become m is equal to negative 1 plus minus 2i. It means from here we get a 2 values of m, m is equal to negative 1 plus 2i and m is equal to negative 1 minus 2i. And first we found this value of m 2, m is equal to now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 1 over x plus 1 is equal to m. We have supposed that 1 over x plus 1 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 2, then this equation will become 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 2. If we take reciprocal on both sides, this implies that x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 and we subtract 1 from both sides, this implies that x is equal to 1 over 2 minus 1. This implies that x is equal to negative 1 over 2 this is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to negative 1 plus 2i, then this will become 1 over x plus 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 2i. And we take a reciprocal on both sides, this implies that x plus 1 is equal to 1 over negative 1 plus 2i. 
So we multiply and divide this expression by negative 1 minus 2i negative 1 minus 2i so this will become x plus 1 is equal to 1 time this expression will become negative 1 minus 2i divided by this will become negative 1 squared minus 2i squared next x plus 1 is equal to negative 1 minus 2i divided by negative 1 squared is 1 and minus 2i squared is 4i squared next x plus 1 is equal to negative 1 minus 2i divided by 1 minus 4 times this i squared is equal to i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this i squared with the negative 1 and this will become x plus 1 is equal to negative 1 minus 2i divided by 1 plus 4 5 next x plus 1 is equal to this will become negative 1 over 5 minus 2 over 5 times i now we subtract 1 from both sides so this get cancelled and we get the value of x is equal to negative 6 over 5 minus 2 over 5 times i this is the second solution of this equation now when now when m is equal to negative 1 minus 2 i by the same process we get the value of x3 is equal to negative 6 over 5 plus 2 over 5 times i and first we found this value of x1 x1 is equal to negative 1 over 2 so we have a uh, three solutions of this equation negative 1 over 2 negative 6 over 5 minus 2 over 5 i and uh, the third is uh, negative 6 over 5 plus 2 over 5 i